The LG Versa wants to be a jack of all trades, but does it end up being a master of none? <gasps> LG's Voyager made a name for itself as one of the first touchscreen phones with a keyboard. But the next generation is here, the Versa. With an incredibly thin design and detachable QWERTY keyboard, it's ready for any pocket. Plus, a 2 megapixel camera, HTML web browsing, and stereo Bluetooth round out this transformer phone for $200 with a contract. All right, there it is. Now, when it comes to look and feel, this is practically the same phone as the LG Dare. Okay? Sorry. And remember, we, we really like that design. Now, they yeah. also added this new touchscreen functionality, like rotating home screens mm -hmm. and customization. There's menus, icons, and everything else. Uh, it's okay like, to ooh and ah. Yeah, it's all right. It has, Go for it. It does have a nicer feel yeah. than uh, other LG phones. Uh, but do you think that there is something that they haven't improved? Yeah, quite a bit, actually. Um, scrolling does not work the way that we want it to. Oh. I'm sorry. Look, I, I'm going to come right out and say it. The well, iPhone has spoiled us when it comes to scrolling. And this one stalls or keeps going when it doesn't seem like it should. It's That's not really as annoying. velocity sensitive as you want it to be. The on screen keyboard is not as good as we remember either. You're constantly correcting what you're typing uh, and you're missing letters and you really have to wait you to don't make do sure that on the iPhone? Each... You don't but the really iPhone has a lot? really, really great, really great autocorrection built in. Like it can tell what you want to say. I mean, it doesn't understand some of the, the, the profanity that I like to throw. Throw out my text messages, but that's why you add a contact with all those choice words so it thinks you're typing Shut someone's up. name. Yeah, you really? have to. You're so, yeah. That's smart. Yeah. My iPhone knows cunk bag now, so thanks, Apple. Oh, nice. That's just one of them. Just one of the many. Okay, now thankfully they included the detachable keypad, so you really yeah. don't have to worry about that. Okay, yeah, okay. It's also not that. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah, we will. But we're gonna do, the, the pro is they've given you that option, right? Yes, it's, not it's a that great hard option. To attach, you just snap the back off and click the keyboard on. Uh, but how do you think it, uh, it really integrates with the, iPhone, the, the phone's functionality? Okay, so here's the thing. It, it, it closes shut like the Voyager, which is nice, and has yeah. this uh, OLED on the front, which is great, and buttons as well, so you can make calls or hang up on telemarketers. The problem is... You're, you're not, I mean, you're not going to do a lot of switching right, since you have to carry around the back cover and because, the keypad all the time. But now, yeah, watch this thing. So, okay, yeah. we're going to pop this off. Oh, hold on. Here we super go. Super easy to pop off. Yeah, oh, super easy. Hang on. Well, it takes 17 steps. There it is. Okay, so, so this is off, right? So here's your foldable keyboard. Yeah, Great, boom. right? Done. Now look. Battery's exposed. Yeah. That's why you got to carry around the separate back case oh, no. to put on to cover the battery so your gutty works don't spill out yeah. all over the floor. Um, no. Really, really, really poor design there. And plus, but if you really want me, to, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. If you want me to carry around a separate keyboard, it had better be an awesome keyboard. And this thing is, it's okay, but it's not as good as some other phones that have built-in keyboards. So I, I'm not, I'm not liking either part. You pretend like you don't carry around a man purse. I have, like I you look, don't have my purse is filled with Tic Tacs and Mace, okay? <laughs> all right. That's all I need. I don't need a separate keyboard. Uh, all right, well, they are, plan <laughs> they are planning on releasing other add-ons like a gamepad, external speaker. We want to see Wi-Fi. Hello. But uh, right. how well do all the built-in features work? Again, they're okay. The web browser okay. is fast because of Verizon's EBDO Revision yeah. A. There isn't much screen real estate to work with, though, as you're seeing yeah, here, so small. things end up kind of cramped. Camera has a flash, but the colors are kind of dull. And and things like video and music, they're, they're all right, but Verizon charges extra for most of that. So keep that in mind. Ooh. Plus, there's no dedicated app store, which we'd like to see. That may come, especially with, with more hardware attachments. People develop specific software for the gamepad or whatever might come down the road. But as of right now, meh. Okay, so right now we got this phone. It's 200 bucks right. with, the the <laughs> with a contract. It's the LG, With a contract. Is, is that it worth it for 200 yeah. bucks? No, not really. I mean, okay. right now there's only one add on for this phone. Uh, you know, we'd rather get the Voyager for 150 bucks because it has a much better keyboard. Mm -hmm. The BlackBerry Curve 8330 is also a better deal <clears throat> for 100 bucks because it just has better features. Yeah, because so. it's a BlackBerry. BlackBerry rocks. It does rock, yes. So, how many seals do, are we going to give this one? So, here's the thing we could have given it a 2.5 easily, but we're giving it 3 out of 5. And, and, and that's because, number one, it makes calls, totally does that. That's one steal. Uh, no, it, anyway, look, look, the phone itself functions well, and it is a pretty interface. I mean, it, it, does, it does do some stuff right, but there's, there's a lot of future potential with the add-on modules. So it does have a little more future-proofing where other phones don't. But as it stands right now, we'd rather spend less on a more feature-rich phone that has it today. All right. Well, that is it for Gadgetron. And remember, for even more of the latest news on computers and tech, check out g4tv.com slash the feed.